I want to show you how things are coming along on the uh, solar powerhouse here, also known as Sunny and Share. Come on in, I'll show you the bed I'm building. Got some mattresses and stuff out of an old camper. Somebody was parting out, making into a toy hauler. So we've got a bed here with a headboard, looks pretty good. Of course, it's super sturdy. You can jump on that, any, anything, it's not gonna bend or break. And to turn it into a desk, flip that up, bring that around, turn this cushion up. Goes there like so. And this sets on this little shelf here. Hook it in like that. And now we have a kitchen table or a desk. Office chair rolls around here. We need to put a cushion on it still. <sighs> Office chair and desk. Kitchen table, however, uh, work desk, however you want to do it. Going to add a little more Formica here. And here to pretty things up. Cushion on the office chair. And of course you see the magic here. A little lever there when the hinges work. Little stop here. And the ba boom. Ready for business. Then over here we've got some cabinet doors installed. We'll put some water jugs in here and a sink on top. A vessel sink on top of the countertop. And some smoked glass here, plexiglass, Lexan, whatever, uh, so that this will be dark and not seen until you turn on the lights inside up here, which will light up this whole showcase of the power system. One more thing here. This bed also folds up. Bring the extra chair all the way up here by the driver. Now you've got all the floor space in the room here. If you've got a quad or something that you want to get in here, you can take the uh, take the office chair out and put it up there. We'll put it somewhere out of the way. Still got some work to do here, so that doesn't rattle when we're driving. Probably end up with some baskets or something here, some kind of storage going on. Not sure what yet. Still working on the details. What's your plans for lighting in this van? I'll let you know when I come up with one. Awesome. Something LED, right? Of RGB. course. RGB LEDs. RGB LEDs, yeah, what else is there? Maybe some spotlights too, like white spotlights. Strategically placed, I don't know. Just throw some That'd ideas. be good, but that's hard to do. Yeah, I know. Hard to wire. We've got enough ceiling problems already here. The Formica worked fairly well. Well, this is kind of a good spot to show you what's going on here. I used roofing metal to put a flat side for the Formica to glue to rather than plywood up there because it's so much lighter. And the roofing metal with these ribs, as you come down here to the, the back end, as everybody with a sprinter knows, there's no way to attach your ceiling back here. Your last attachment point is, what, 28 inches or something forward of the back doors. Yeah. So plywood or anything else I was using always tended to sag here and there's always had trouble attaching it. With this roofing metal, it's corrugated roofing metal, it runs straight, rib to rib to rib. It's not gonna sag no matter what you do. I guess I should ask, would you do it again? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you screw it to the ribs, the screws end up, the, you know, the, the cross ribs of the van, the screws end up inside here so they don't interfere with, you know, they don't have to worry about countersinking them. Mm -hmm. And then you get a nice surface here to glue for mica to or whatever thin surface you wanted to use for your ceiling. Uh, they've got plastic sheeting at Lowe's. It's a little bit cheaper than Formica. Probably would have been a good choice. 